Well, hello there, YouTube, and good morning. Welcome to December 7th, 2016. You know, today is the 75th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. And uh, it is froze up. It's like 25 or something out here. It's crazy cold. Anyway, welcome to the day. It's all frosty out here, Mama. I like when everything's just got that frosted, frozen look to it. It's very pleasing. Sure is beautiful out here this morning. It's a very beautiful, but very cold morning. But nothing's all frosty down here in Vancouver, so that's kind of nice. Still shocks me this thing is clean. Holy moly, we got a whole nother truckload of them. Nice. Every box out here you see that's brown, and there's a lot of them, is a BMW. But the important thing is we got two of these. R1200 GS Adventure. <laughs> you can see what they look like in the box. Look how the motor is black on it. I have no idea. I can't get in there, so I was just pointing the camera. There's a couple of them that I stumbled across out here. Scooters. Nice. Really super nice. <laughs> cool stuff. All right. And you guys wondering how my shop helmet setup is. This is an old Hero 3 skeleton case. And it's just mounted to the chin upside down with a with a J mount. And I got a Sony stereo microphone in, inside there. The microphone works really good, but the helmet is so noisy. The sound is, is not as good as my uh, drift mic setup. The reason I'm showing you this we're about to take this gal for a ride and uh, I'm probably gonna put that ride on the on the motor vlog channel so uh, I'll let you guys know later on what I end up doing anyway I was about to dress up and go here and I thought I'd show you that setup this is my hero 4 silver that's my normal setup for my other helmet and I keep this kit set up so I can just plug it in and go Look at this sick son of a gun. Woo! Wow! The R1200R. Got a whole bag of parts still to put on it. That's sick looking though, isn't it? Ooh. GPS, fancy display they have on it. Look at all them buttons this thing's got. These things have the smoothest clutch. The motor's blacked out, that red frame. Mm, mm, mm. That thing's birdie. Here's that 1200 put together. They ordered it with the uh, tour pack thing so you can put saddlebags and a trunk on it. And GPS. I think I talked about that earlier. Check how cool this dash is. Cool stuff, huh? It kind of reminds me of a speed triple with that, that little fairing on there. This thing's cool. This is what the, I don't know if I showed you the dash on this yesterday. Tons of info on these things. And when you have the GPS installed, this uh, scroll wheel, and then it, you shift right, left, and then scroll through your men menus, you get all the diagnostic from the bike shows up on there. It's the coolest thing ever. Really cool. You guys that are into serious mud bogging, that Can-Am will get you through it. Isn't that crazy? 
I come out here and I gotta look around going, where the hell's my car? Why, that's it right yonder. Not used to it being all chiiny. That's good. Yeah. So that sucker is orange. Guess that's why we nicknamed it the pumpkin. Yeah. So it's supposed to be uh, one heck of a snowstorm coming. Don't see any sign of it yet. Look at that, our little city hall. Got some Christmas lights. The little salon there has got some Christmas lights going. Checking the, checking the meal. There you go, Ma. Thank you, Paul. Looks like I got something from Brian Fisher's. Ooh. Looks like he oh. sent us some Christmas cards or oh, something. Oh, that's sweet. All right. Quick pit stop at the old Red Apple. Oh. We're heading home. Oh. Supposed to be a heck of a storm coming. Oh. Oh. We'll see. Look at this. It's been a long time since we drove through Toledo and. You weren't staring through wet, sprinkly windows. Look at that little park thing. They did the tree and yeah, ain't that pretty? <laughs> Hello there, YouTube. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. I had another fun day tinkering with with BMWs and the the R1200 GS that I put together yesterday and. I showed you today I took it for a ride. Although I'm not going to show it here. But I took it for a ride. Um, I'm doing the final paperwork on it. I'm such a retard. It's a 2017. It wasn't a 16. I had the year letter in my head. I was thinking H was 16. Um, G is 16. So, anyway. So, I don't know how many times I called that thing a 2016 R1200 GS, but it's a 2017. I don't know what the differences are. They're minor, very minor. Since 15, everything's pretty minor changes. But, um, get home. I, some Amazon things, a couple things showed up. And, uh, well, a couple of things were supposed to show up. <laughs> one came, uh, U.S. Postal, and the other one was UPS. UPS thing? nowhere to be found. Shows it was delivered at 2.38 this afternoon and it's nowhere. I've been out in the field seeing if the dogs you know set it aside or grabbed it or whatever. It's nowhere. It should be a... yeah you wouldn't miss this thing. So either the guy delivered it to the wrong address. That's the bad thing about ordering stuff this time of year. They get all these reserve guys you know because they're you know, of course, their shipping is going buck wily. So you get all these temporary guys or whatever. If you're ever going to get something delivered to the wrong address, <clears throat> the way our address is is kind of weird. Our address is if we're out on the highway. We're not on the highway, so. Anyway, and I can't file anything with UPS until 24 hours. And I can't do anything with uh, Amazon until 38 hours, 36 hours. Yeah. But uh, so I just sit and wait, and there my stuff's gone. So That's of so all the happy of the day, and it turned into that. And I just I have the worst luck with with packages not showing up on time, not showing up at all. The craziest things. It's a, a delivery nightmare. And Every time I order something, there's just this fear that it's not gonna, it's not gonna show up, and that comes, that happens from time to time. But thankfully, with Amazon, if if nothing else, I'll either resend it or refund the money. But I wanted what was there. One little thing was for this one here, a little something, but no something, something. yeah, a little something, something. But she'd have liked it, so. Uh, you want to bust out the knife thing here right quick? Sure. So I, sh I showed you guys the uh, Skeletool the other day. I tried to get it to focus. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell if it's focusing. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Look how tiny that thing is. This is four and a quarter inches. That's two something. And this is the Leatherman, the Leatherman style. 
it's focusing on your face. Yeah. There's a Leatherman style. Has a little little uh, carabiner on the back. The unique thing is a style PS. The unique thing about this is it's TSA legal. You can board a plane with it because it has a little pair of mini scissors, little tiny guys, and Leatherman and stuff's always very sharp and they work really well. It has a flat blade slash Phillips screwdriver with a nail file on one side and then on the inside it's just a little little small small pair of pair of pliers I need to come up with some better way of showing this because half the time the stuff doesn't sh doesn't focus with the camera I oh, know you need to put like a little black card yeah. behind it and then one one other little side thing it has that's kind of cool is stashed in the side here you're reaching here with your little finger anger nails. Oh, no, I must have got it. Oh, there it goes. You can see this. It slides out. And a very precise pair of tweezers. I mean, they're like microscopic. Yeah, I mean. That they will grab. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. You could use a jeweler's loop and pick the butt of a gnat. <laughs> they're good for slivers. Because you can never grab yeah. a little sliver. That's cool. They make a, another one called the Style um, CS that has a pair, a pair of scissors that's about the size of this. And instead of the scissors on the side, it's a little small <laughs> knife blade. And then it has the same little nail file screwdriver thing. But that's a little, just a little tiny thing. And stick in your pocket or you can use the carabiner oh and the carabiners I, I keep forgetting to tell you guys this but the carabiner also doubles as a bottle opener for the sudsies you know oh yes but this I like the, how they're both the same yeah they've got the same the same, same styling to them yeah. with the with the carabiner and everything it's kind of hard to hold them both here you be the model there I'll, I'll be the backdrop <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's very similar styling to them this is only four and a quarter inches like I said so this thing I didn't measure it to see what it is but it's it's tiny but this has been my daily carry here lately I'm using the heck out of this thing and um, that and the the pliers on it just loving this thing got a nice I mean they're they're smaller pliers but man good and powerful and of course the screwdrivers and stuff on it. And that's the skeletal. They make and this a is C the baby skeleton. Yeah. They make a C X version. It's called the Skeletool C X with the carbon fiber and a really high quality blade. I like that one. But that one's uh can't they just find out. Feel one. good in your hand. Yeah. I do. It's a good thing I don't have this. I'd sit there and play with that all day long. To you poke yourself with one of the tools. <laughs> yeah, I'd be sitting there going like that all day. I'd play with that little thing. Cause that would be, yeah. So we're kind of watching the, it. watching the weather, and we don't know what this storm is gonna do. It's got everybody kind of. It should be the first storm that really stirs things up around here. Yeah. At the end of 2016. We'll, we'll see. You know, kind of looking here in Toledo. I, th I think it's moving. I want to say it's moving up from the south and coming up from like the Portland area up. I don't know. It's kind of going sideways and yeah. from the coast. It's, it's cold. It's in way. my 20s out there. It's, yeah. it's cold. It is cold. Now it's walking out there. All the grass is all crunchy. Everything's just... Everything's a white me, and frozen. Yeah. Frosty, frozen, and crunchy. Yeah, cold so they're saying crunchy. snow's coming, and then freezing, freezing rain is the biggest threat. Yeah, because it's, it's supposed to warm up as the day goes. Then the freezing rain, they're, they're saying, you know, half inch, inch of freezing rain, and that's... Yeah. You, know, that you don't move that. after that. No. You're done. Can't drive. Even the little four-wheel drive uh, Honda Element doesn't hold a candle to sheets no. of ice. No. But, Mama? Well, you should probably... We should probably roll out. I don't right. know how the time flies by. I think these knives are killing us. I know. We're taking away from our talk time.
but they're cool yeah they are cool all right you guys take care we appreciate you watching very very much we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to like try not to dislike hit that subscribe button and share it if you'd like to which we do appreciate i'm gonna hurt him and you guys have a good one <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh thanks for being patient with the with the bmw i hope you're hope you're enjoying them and the knives you guys say you like the knives I, I, I think I, I think I am wasting way too much time on this thing. Oh, no, I like knives. Though. Yeah, I do too. There's never you can never get enough knives. I know it's a tool. I like tools. trinkets, and gizmos, and gadgets and stuff. Yes. So we'll keep you apprised as to what the weather does yep. tomorrow. Yep. If it gets nasty, everybody's going. You guys don't even try to make that long drive. So, but yeah. it, now it's gonna look like it's gonna hit like two o'clock in the afternoon. We might leave work early, but it'll yeah. give me time to build some more BMWs. Yeah. We got a S one thousand XR down there. That thing is like crazy popular. It's kind of a crotch rocket turned into a dual sport. I don't know, that'd be <laughs> cool. So anyway, we're gonna let you guys go. We'll All talk right. to you tomorrow. Thank Bye you guys everybody. very much. <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs>